It's time to budget for October. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today, we're going to budget for October, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to zero out the buffer category. And just a side note, I really enjoyed budgeting on um, the YNAB app last month so i figured i'll switch it up every now and then and do about half and half between the web and the phone app okay so we have our thirty six hundred dollars here and we're just gonna go down the line and budget this money out okay we have our phone bill our phone bill has actually been very leveled out these past couple of months because it fluctuates between like 76 and 80 dollars um and it's been 76 like the past few months so we're gonna do let's just do 77 this time because usually i'll budget 80 and then um we'll have the money left over so let's just do 77 and see how that works in october okay and then we'll do the internet um there's already 17 dollars and 55 cent here um so let's just do 117 and that should be enough yep that should be enough um and i know my targets are off because when you have targets set in ynab they want you to budget the full amount of the target but i think we'll be okay um because we have the same amount of money we had the target is at 135 we have 134.55 so that's cool um electricity uh i still think we need to budget a little bit more than the 200 but the bill is coming down and i'm so happy about that and it's about to get cold um so we typically run the air conditioner a lot more than we run the heater when it starts to get cold um so it should go down a lot during the fall and the and the winter um so let's just do 250 here just to be on the safe side and hopefully it can get back down to our normal 200 soon. Uh, let's see, gas, um, we'll do the 150. We probably are going to at least go visit my parents um, once this month, but I don't think we have anything else coming up that we need to drive for, so 150 is fine. Uh, the water bill, uh, last month it was $51.25, so, Let's just, we'll just do the 59 just in case. Car insurance, I need to update this target because our car insurance is 115.14. Um, so that's what we'll add. The life insurance is 35.13. Um, okay, so we need to put something for our loans. Actually, we had money here, hold on. Let's see what happened with that. Okay, so I figured out what happened. They, we have um, transactions scheduled um, within our accounts in YNAB and um, I just never canceled them when student loans were paused. So every month I just have to go in and delete them because YNAB thinks that we're paying towards our student loans, but we're not. Um, so I went and deleted those two transactions and now we have $111 in both. Um, of our student loan categories. So we're gonna put something here, even if it's just like $20, but let's finish the budget and then come back up. Okay, for gym, $9.99. That's just my Peloton subscription. I really love the Peloton workouts, by the way. Um, so if you're interested, you don't need a Peloton, any Peloton equipment to do the workouts in their app. We have a treadmill and we have a spin bike that are not Peloton. They're both from Amazon. Um, and the workouts on the Peloton app are great. Uh, so let's see, Apple Music, let's do 37 here. Um, still need to figure out what's coming out of there, but it's okay. Uh, mortgage, we'll do, 1407.91 and we have been paying extra on our mortgage but I kind of added in towards the end of the month um, once our next buffer is filled then I come back and I add in the 169 that we pay extra towards the mortgage so we'll just leave it at that for now and then by the end of the month we'll have the extra 169 and I'll make that payment home maintenance and repairs I fill this up when we get paid um, so that already has money there 
um, groceries. We'll do 350. We've been doing pretty good on groceries lately. Um, I don't know if prices are like starting to go back down or we're just choosing uh, more budget friendly options, but we've been able to stay within our 350 lately. Um, same thing with restaurants. We do 150 here and um, I don't know if we just haven't been eating out as much, but we've been under our 150 um, for the past month or so. So that is good. And let's see, spending money. Okay, so now I get to ask um, Siri how much spending money we should get. Random number between 25 and 75. That would be 37. Okay, so we get $37 each this month. All right. And I think that has become Kara's favorite part of um, <laughs> these budgets because the, the amount is different every time. So he's very excited when it's a high amount or a higher amount than um, we typically get. But when it gets closer down to the 25, then he's kind of like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's become his favorite part of the budget lately. Okay, household goods, $100. Miscellaneous, $100 entertainment we did go over our entertainment budget um by like 34 dollars last month um but i don't think that will be necessary for october so let's just do 50. i don't know though because i really love halloween so i don't know if we're going to do any halloween related things let's do 50 and then come back okay spare the moment it's 50. Um, school, we don't need anything there. Personal care, $50. Uh, Christmas account, I think it's gonna be, I think we're gonna pay, get paid four times, so that means $40. We typically put $20 per pay period in there and we used to have the same pay period. Um, so we would get paid twice a month and um, do $20 twice a month, but we get paid um, every week now just because we're on different pay schedules, but we haven't changed or updated anything about our Christmas account. So um, $40, new car, we'll come back to it. Fun stuff, come back. Uh, reimbursements, let's just put $7 here to make it 100. Um, and that's just for when I like buy stuff and get reimbursed from people. Like if I need to pay for lunch while we're out and somebody sends me the cash or sends me the money um, or gives me the cash, then I get it from my reimbursements. And then when the money gets back into our bank account, then I add it back here. Um, so that is at a hundred. So we're cool there. Um, okay, we have $1,094 left. Uh, okay, so let's talk about our once per year once per year category so in this category that's for things that we only pay for once per year that i typically forget about and i don't want to have a separate uh category in my budget for each of these things so i kind of got an average of those things and just make sure the money's here when it's time for those things to come out so i set a target of 500 dollars here um just because that's a good number to have for things just coming out on random months uh, so it says that we need $70.92 for the for this month in order to be on our target to reach $500 so let's go ahead and do that I don't think we have anything coming out of this um, in October but I don't know because it's just the once per year things um, so we'll do $70.92 here Okay, so our medical expenses is very low because we had to pay for a few things. So let's add the 384.62 that it says we need. Okay, and that brought that back up to $600, um, which is where I like to keep it. I like to keep the car maintenance and repairs at $600, so that's good to go. Okay, now let's go back. We have $639. Let's do $20 for each of our loans, just so we can just start building the category back up because we don't know what our payments are gonna be. And then I said we would come back to entertainment. Let's just do an extra 50 here so that we can have extra money in case we do decide to do any Halloween activities. Okay, 
So back down here to our sinking funds, we have $549.30 and we can do new car, uh, fun stuff. And then I would like to add more to our medical expenses category. So let's see, let's do, let's do 150 more to the medical expenses. Okay, so we're at $399. Let's do $200 for fun stuff just to start building this category back up because we may have some trips coming up soon, especially towards the end of the year. Um, we typically always travel for Christmas. Don't know where we're going, but it's always good to have the category filled up. And then let's just put the rest for new car. So $199.30. Okay, so that brings us to $6,100 in our new car category. And I typically add more to this category as we um, get paid and our buffer is filled for the next month. So we may have more to add to this um, coming up in October. So that is it. All of our money is budgeted. All of our money is budgeted. So if you made it this far in the video, drop this emoji in the comments and leave a comment to let us know if you've already budgeted for October and what fun things you have coming up. That's all for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.